Apple reported solid first quarter results. Uh, the second quarter forecast was a little light, but they're expecting some currency headwinds, so not too bad. Overall, the earnings report was a positive. Uh, the big highlight was iPhone sales, uh, as expected, 78 million units, uh, breaking an all-time record. So they saw very little, if no, effects of taking out the headphone jack, which uh, was a bit of a worry going into uh, the quarter or a couple of quarters ago. Uh, perhaps the real positive from the iPhone this quarter is the average price and the mix towards the 7 Plus. The 7 Plus was extremely popular this quarter. Uh, average price per, per phone was $695, which was an all-time high. Uh, so really strong mix towards the 7 Plus. People were really looking at that dual camera uh, and upgrading, and, and that's been a positive for Apple this quarter. The other bright point for the iPhone is double-digit growth in, in many mature markets, the U.S., Japan, Western Europe. In the U.S., we saw uh, many subsidies and specials for, for free iPhones, so we think that contributed a bit. But still seeing solid growth in mature markets was a real positive. China was down, as discussed. Hong Kong was weak. But mainland China was flat on a total revenue basis across all products. So even China wasn't that bad. Apple did well across all other regions of the world. The other big highlight from the quarter was Apple's services business. They announced a target to try and double their services revenue over the next four years. It's a really aggressive target, in our opinion. That's higher than our estimates and what we were expecting. Uh, but they cited strong growth in Apple Care, in iCloud storage, App Store continuing to do extremely well. Uh, we think this is still a little bit of a lagging indicator. It's hard to see Apple grow the services business if people stopped buying iPhones and if the installed base goes down. But the fact that people are upgrading, they're getting switchers from Android, and they're driving not just the initial hardware sale, but services and software sales on top of it is a real positive for Apple. So overall, a very good quarter, uh, positive situation at this point. Uh, we liked Apple. Um, certainly when it was trading below $100, it's starting to come back towards our fair value estimate. We were at 133 uh, going into the quarter. So uh, overall, a uh, very good quarter for Apple.